so runaways season two i just finished i did not just finished it i finished it yesterday um it took me a good i want to say three days three to four days usually i can wax it off in a day but it took me about three days because i didn't want to rush through it because there's just so much with that show that i didn't want to miss anything i wanted to make sure i can give it my undivided attention so i just like i said i finished it and i loved it but but what i don't know i loved it but it's it i loved it <laughs> um if you haven't watched it, runaways is about a group of teenagers it's a marvel series so on Hulu and it's about a group of teenagers, six teenagers, two boys, four girls. Um, they found out that their parents were very powerful and rich, um, are like murderers and they do horrible things. So a few of them have special abilities and a few of them are just, you know, they use objects to, um, you know, to fight and stuff like one guy used and the thing it's he created it called fistagons it's just super powered uh, metal fists that shoot like fire or you know electronic pulse or something um one is just really smart he knows his way around a computer and he knows how to hack into stuff and the other girl is what they call a witch and she uses a staff to um bend her will so um like season one was good it, it you know it led up to everything and it really explained a lot of who the parents are and the kids finding out who they are and then season two picked up when they um ran away so now they are actual runaways um and they find the underground mansion they've been living in it's like dilapidated so it's not like ooh a mansion it's just like ew gross but they've been living in it and coming into their abilities and finding out who they are they are their their parents are led by this guy called jonah who they didn't know until this season that he's basically an alien and um the girl carolina who's one of the runaways is his daughter um and she has the same abilities as him but her character i don't like at all she has no other than being the the chosen one what they call it or having this ability to light up a room she really isn't much of a character uh she shoots fire and uh, not fire but light out of her hands but i don't know what it actually does um but yeah, her character can get lost and we really don't need her alex who's a black kid he's super smart he knows how to deal with computers and, and hack into stuff chase he's good at building like his dad his dad is a um amazing scientist so he kind of got that from his dad but him you can kind of do without his character kind of sucks gert is like this huge feminist she has a psychic link to a dinosaur that her parents created but she can really get lost too because she doesn't really use a dinosaur for nothing the dinosaur is just there like a a cat or something he does nothing um molly now has abilities super strength and she does most of the the butt kicking and and fighting and who else the the girl i forgot her name. tina is the asian girl and she doesn't have any abilities but she she wields this staff that like ben that can do just about anything and this season you you see her really grow into her abilities and using the staff to do um good so basically like i said they found out that jonah is an alien so they not necessarily team up with their parents but they both are working to get rid of jonah um while still trying to take down their parents and all the parents want is for them to come home basically to um to keep control of their kids so they work up to it and 
they well, once they find out Jonah's an alien, they see his they find out his spaceship is there. But he just wants to leave basically. He's like over everybody and wants to get the heck out of there because he's his body's break breaking down and nobody's helping him with sacrifices anymore, which that was a major part of the parents helping him like they had this shell organization called pride it wasn't really a shell because they actually did stuff in the neighborhood and this church church of gaborum and they used that to find a bunch of other runaways to sacrifice to keep jonah young and, and nice and stuff because without them he like dies he withers and dies so after that, after he realized they're not trying to help him anymore, he basically just wants to go. But he starts grooming Carolina to like him. And, you know, eventually he plans to take her with him to wherever the hell he's from. But Gert's parents develop a serum to kill him, basically. And, um... Once he's 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 gotten his spaceship out, they fire at it and it starts necrotizing and blows up. And then Tina uses the staff and kills Jonah. Now, well, they think they kill him, but you know, which I knew he wasn't gonna die so um, so quickly. Nobody wants to get rid of Julian McMahon like that, but um. <clears throat> There's no way. He's like number one, uh, what they call it, nemesis. So there's there's no way. If you're watching it, there's no way they're going to get rid of him like that. So because when when the, the spaceship like blew up, you kind of see the, the, the lights like fly off. So you can tell right then and there that they're not dead. And it turns out they're not. They just jump into other bodies. And while he was laying there dying... Carolina was over him and talking to him and he just you know breaks into the this Australian accent which turns out that he was just using the guy for a body it wasn't actually his body he jumped into that guy's body so that was some sort of foreshadowing and then he looks up at Carolina and says oh we're just gonna have to take them all which kind of foreshadows again that you know they're gonna be taking new bodies so it was him, three of his kids, and one slave person on the ship. So he jumped in to chase his dad, who was the um, the brilliant scientist. One of his kids jumps into Tina's mom, and the other one jumped into Gert's mother. And but there's one missing. No, the 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 slave person. Like jumped into this random homeless woman and this now seeked out Carolina because she believes Carolina is her betrothed who is her um, lover or whatnot. Now there's one kid missing and they're trying to figure out where the kid is but I believe the kid is inside of Tina who is the witch with the staff and I say that because she after they killed Jonah and everything, she started to get more powerful and she started to lose time also, just like the other characters. And, you know, she's going crazy trying to figure out what's going on. And then when, like, this is the last episode and when they, um, Jonah who was in Chase's dad says, oh, I can't find the other guy. I wonder if it's in another parent. And then he says, or one of the kids, and then it just flashes to Tina. So that definitely tells me that the other kid is in Tina, which is, it's, I don't understand why he hasn't met up with his dad or whatnot yet. But that was it. That was the last episode. It was really good. Like towards the ending was like very good. And um, so they captured Carolina. Um was it Chase? Chase and another one. There was three of them in there. So they captured Carolina. They captured Chase. 
And I don't know the other one. But there was three of them in the thing and they were going to consume them to, to help preserve their own bodies. And Gert, her dad basically kidnapped her and the dinosaur to hide her from the mother because he didn't realize well he doesn't know that the mother is inhabiting one of Jonah's kids inside her he just thought thinks she has gone crazy so Gert's out of the picture for now um so that leaves Alex Tina and Molly yeah Alex Tina and Molly they're what's left of the the, the team Gert is gone Chase and Caroline are in the lab and oh yeah it was Chase's mom so it's Chase his mom and Caroline have been captured by Jonah and his kids so I, that's where it's going to pick up for next season which I'm pretty sure Chase nor Carolina is going to die um, I'm not sure about his mom like they, they, they don't die like the parents have been in trouble before and they saved them right before they died and so have the kids so I don't believe any of them are going to die but if somebody were to die it would be Chase's mom um, but yeah that's it like I really liked it this season there was a lot of lows and a lot of highs it took me a while to start watching it because I was scared that it was just gonna be crap because you know sometimes second seasons aren't as good as the first seasons but once I started watching it, I was like in and it was really good. So I definitely recommend it. Um, season one, I would give a three and a quarter. No, I would give it like a strong three because, you know, they're laying the groundwork and trying to explain everything to everybody. So first seasons aren't always action, action this. But season two, I would give a three and a half or even three and three quarters because it was really so good it was a lot of action it was a lot of new players it was you know a lot of old players and it was really good I liked it so I definitely do recommend it and yeah that's it